Hi, welcome to this video. So in this video, we're going to show you the basics of double bass drum playing. Right from day one, so you've just got yourself a double bass drum pedal and you're just trying to start to learn how to use it. So hopefully you'll find these examples useful. Right, so the first exercise we're going to look at is eighth notes. It's really important to work out which one is your leading foot and which one is your following foot. Most people will lead with their right foot. So for these exercises, I'm going to lead with the right foot. So to play eighth notes, your right foot, your leading foot, is playing quarter notes. So I'm going to play quarter notes on my hi-hat and then play quarter notes with my right foot at the same time. So adding the left foot then on the upbeat eighth note will sound like this. If we add the snare drum in on two and four, we get a very popular double bass drum groove. Obviously very slow, but at the moment consistency we're looking for, not speed. So now if we try this at uh, 100 beats per minute on the metronome, we'll see what that sounds like. Okay, and a little faster now. This is going to be at 120 beats per minute. And finally, at 140 beats per minute. Okay, work slowly, build up the speed with the metronome gradually. Don't try and run before you can walk. So the next exercise we're going to look at is 16th notes. So 16th notes, your right foot is playing 8th notes. Your left foot follows in and brings in the offbeat 16th notes. And the snare drum falls on two and four. Okay, so let's try this with the metronome now. So first of all, at 120. And slightly faster now, let's try this at 140. Okay, now here's a few exercises that'll help you build up your speed and your coordination between your feet. So first of all, we're going to play two bars of eighth notes and then two bars of sixteenth notes while the hands remain the same. Let's take this down to 120 and play it there. Now one bar. Half a bar of each.
And finally, one beat of each. Okay, so hopefully you'll get a lot out of these exercises, work slowly with the metronome, try to be Tommy Lee rather than Joey Jordison to start off with. Work with the metronome gradually, speeding it up, and enjoy those, and I'll see you next time.